G'day guys, today we're taking a look at a few more things on the R36S clone that I didn't get a chance to try in my stock OS testings video. All of these tests will be performed on the stock OS which boots from the internal flash. Do any portmaster ports work? Unfortunately not. I have tried copying over ones installed in the portmaster app on a genuine R36S on ArcOS as well as manually installing from the portmaster website on a PC. These scripts do show up. You can see here we've got Super Mario War, but when trying to run it, it does just return back to the emulation station menu. Back on the PC now, you can see the ports folder. I did copy Super Mario War along with its launch script. And again, I put it under the tools folder just in case. The exact same files here. Do DOS games work? Again, they don't. They don't even show up. I have tried various things to try and get the DOS folder to show. It is there on the SD card. But no matter what I do, uh, that just doesn't seem to show up. I did take a look at the emulation station notes and it mentions needing a simple batch file to launch the games. I did try and create some, but again, they just don't show up. So just on the micro SD card from the R36S clone now, popped in the computer, have a look at the DOS folder. And you can see I've tried Crystal Caves 1 directly in the root of the DOS folder. I also made two different batch files, one that points it towards the folder and one that runs it directly from here. Neither of them showed up. And the Crystal Caves 1 folder is just again the Crystal Caves 1 game files. And I did create a third batch file that just runs it from inside the folder. Do common wireless adapters work? So for this test, I'll be using a cheap USB-A to USB-C adapter and we'll start off with cheap eBay Wi-Fi adapter number one. This one does work on a genuine R36S running Arc OS. It's connected it to the adapter. And I'm plugging it into the right-hand side OTG port. The little indicator light didn't flash at all when connecting. So that's not a good sign. I'm just pressing start, going down to network settings, going down to enable Wi-Fi, and we'll see if we can get it to show. So there was nothing found. I'll try on the left port just in case it's reversed. Again, no lights. And nothing. I think we'll put it back in the right-hand side port. And this time I will boot with it connected. So the unit's powered off. I've got my cheap eBay Wi-Fi adapter connected. We'll just power it on. So we've restarted. Once again, there was no activity on the little indicator light. We'll go back down to network settings. Neighbor Wi-Fi is still on. Doesn't seem to detect anything. We'll swap out with our next wireless adapter. Wireless adapter number two is again, just another cheap one from eBay plug it in. This one also worked for me on my genuine R36S running Arc OS. There's no indicator light on this one. Go to the network settings, Wi-Fi, and nothing at all. Try disabling it. Nothing found. I do have one more wireless adapter which actually didn't work for me on Arc OS on the real R36S, but it may work here. It's just a TP link. This is a real one. It's about a hundred and something dollars back in the day from Harvey Norman. We'll see if this works. And nothing. So I've only got three different wireless adapters, but all three of them don't work on the stock OS. Next, we'll try Android tethering. So it's my Android phone, uh, connecting it through their USB-A to USB-C cable, and then a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And we'll plug it into the OTG port on the right. Now we're just trying to charge my phone. Uh, USB tethering is enabled, so click that. And it does seem to be shared. We'll see if it gives us an IP address. No IP address and not connected. So it doesn't look like USB tethering works either. I will restart it with it enabled and I'll disable Wi-Fi. So disable Wi-Fi, I'll reset the R36S with the phone note attached and we'll see if we can get it detected. So it does disable, there we go, and enable it. So the phone is detecting the R36S at least, which is a good sign. And I'll press start, go down to network, and still no internet access. That is unfortunate. Again, this method works perfectly on a genuine R36S. In fact, this is my preferred method of getting internet onto the handheld. It just looks like uh, internet doesn't work at all on this clone. Does the desktop environment script that basically turns the R36S into a pocket PC work? 
Now this one's designed to be run from the tools folder on ArcOS on a genuine R36S. Unfortunately, there is no tools option on the menu. There is a tools folder on the SD card, but it doesn't show up. I also tried copying the exact same files with the launch scripts to ports in case that would uh, work, but unfortunately it doesn't show up still. So no, you cannot turn the R36S clone into a little pocket PC, at least not on StockOS. We will try it again on the custom build of ArcOS in the future. We're back on our PC now, and we'll take a look at the tools folder on the SD card. You can see I did put the desktop environment scripts in here, along with Super Mario War. Uh, neither of them showed up. In fact, the entire tools folder is hidden. And if we go over to ports, which is not hidden on the handheld, but it just didn't show my scripts. You can see I have copied both scripts to this folder as well. What happens if you put a fresh FAT32 formatted micro SD card in slot two and power it on? Over on a Windows 10 PC, it's gonna right click on our SD card. It's using a cheap 512 meg one as a test. We'll format it, make sure it's FAT32 it is. We'll leave the volume label blank. Click start, click okay, and okay. We'll put it back into our R36S clone in slot two and we'll see what happens. Just inserting it in the left hand side slot, slot two. And we'll power it on. So we're just getting the same error as if there's no SD card at all. So we'll power off the system and we'll put the SD card back in our computer and see if it tried to create any files on there. So we'll put it back into our computer, we'll take a look. So it has created three folders, one dot update, one ports folder with EC Wolf, which is empty, and a port scripts folder. That's it. It didn't try and auto create these systems folders, which is a bit annoying. That would have been an obviously handy feature, but it was interesting. It created anything at all. What happens if you put a fresh FAT32 formatted SD card in slot one and turn it on? We're just going to format the SD card once again. Keep it as FAT32, no label. And we'll put this in our R36S clone in slot one this time, which is the slot it does try and boot from. We'll see if it creates anything on that. Putting it into our slot one, the right hand side slot. And we'll power on the unit. And we just got the same error message again. It didn't seem to take any longer try and boot. So it looks like it is looking for a very specific boot file. And if it doesn't find it, it immediately gives up and boots from the internal flash. We'll again power down the system, pop the SD card back in our computer and see if it's created any files. We're back on our PC now and let's take a look at the SD card. It didn't create any folders this time, which is interesting. So in slot two, it does create a few folders, but in slot one, it doesn't touch it at all. Is there any way to access the internal flash on a computer? A good friend mentioned that this SOC may feature a DFU mode where generally you would hold down a certain button combination when powering it on or connecting it to a computer and this might let you access the internal flash. There obviously is a way to easily access the internal flash, which is how they would have copied the OS to it in the factory. But unfortunately I've tried many different button combinations while powering it on and also while just connecting the USB cable to either of the USB-C ports, but I wasn't able to get anything resembling DFU mode. And I also wasn't able to get Windows to detect the R36S clone at all, even in device manager. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any more tests you want to see on this or questions or comments let me know down below otherwise thanks for watching